Can you believe it that we're almost at the end of 2022? 2022. It's amazing. And it's been a hectic year. Some great land marks in it. As you've travelled with me around the farms and fields and sheep story, you've been seeing what goes on on a little postage stamp of ground. Not just on 50 acres we are here. So you're seeing how much work's involved in keeping up 130 sheep or whatever. Uh, it's really all consuming. But it's a privilege. And so it is out in the countryside, cutting the hedges and all round the farms. Now, to those who haven't got to yet, we'll be with you straight after Christmas. Not making excuses, but this, from the start of this year, hedge cutting cycle goes in about three years. You know the way Dard tells you, oh, don't cut to for three years, don't cut. So everybody sort of fell in line to that sort of thing. And in the third year, you go to cut a field for somebody or just a lane to do just a field then you end up to say oh right we're going to do the whole farm so then instead of a couple of hours you could be two or three days so the first four or five people i went to that happened and that set me back away uh weeks uh because i was with them for instead of an hour or two uh, two or three days or whatever so that's my excuse for that but i will be with you all shortly after christmas and uh, another landmark was we'll put our house on the market for sale. Uh, and of course, as the little stories, as we're going around the countryside, uh, down to the moorns, to the boys building the stone walls and all that sort of thing, as you followed it, uh, it all takes time to do that as well. But it's a lovely thing to do in the farming end of things. And working with the sheep is a privilege and really special. Uh, I'm just going to do a few wee captions and, and pictures in to lead you what we have been through sort of this year between combining and, and the farms have been on and little snippets of different folk. About 10 days ago a man and a lady arrived at the door, it was one evening actually, and they said we have something for you and I says what is this? Now usually you get a boiled cake or a pot of jam or something like that in the farm and <laughs> This man says, I have a drum kit for you. <laughs> and I says, a drum kit? He says, yes. He says, you might be able to make use of it. So anyway, I'm going to take you in and show you the little drum kit. It's a little electronic drum kit. And I never was a drummer. I, I have bothered coordinating hands and feet together uh, for drumming. You need to be doing something with this and thinking about what you're doing with this hand and this foot and that foot. So uh, I, I'm only just just getting into the way of it. So here's the little drum kit. Here we have the little electronic drum kit. And you don't have sound like an ordinary drum kit. It's very dull just because it's all electronic unless you put it through an amplifier. But in the center here is a little console just like a, it's like a mini computer. And it saves, it has tunes saved in it. And they could be blue style, jazz, country or whatever. So, and you can pick one of those tunes and play it back through your headphones and then you try and accompany it and teach yourself. Or there's probably tutorial videos as well, but I haven't gone that far. So here we go. I'm going to put the headphones on here and you will hear what I am hearing and then you'll hear me start to come in on the drum kit if I can manage it. I'm not a drummer by any means, but I'm having lots of fun with this. Here we go.
Well, folks, it's that time of year where we just say thank you for watching and all your kind comments throughout the year and just to wish you all a very happy and restful and peaceful Christmas and all the best for the new year. <laughs>